Warm greetings from GNV Academy. Today in this session, we are going to discuss about secure coding. Before we start, let me tell you about what all we will discuss in this session point by point. During this session, we will be discussing what is secure coding and why it is essential. What is secure coding techniques? What is secure code review important? Elements of secure code review and why should you use this standard? So let's begin our session and talk about what is secure coding. In information security and programming, a buffer overflow or buffer overrun is an anomaly whereby a program while writing data to buffer overruns the buffer boundary and overrides adjacent memory locations. Buffers are areas of memory set aside to hold data often while moving it from one section of a program to another or between programs. Buffer overflows can be often triggered by malformed inputs. If one assume all inputs will be smaller than a certain size and the buffer is created to be that size, then an anomalous transaction that produces more data could cause it to write past and end of the buffer. If this overrides adjacent data or executable code, this may result in erratic program behavior including memory access errors, incorrect results and crashes. Exploiting the behavior of a buffer overflow is a well-known security exploit. On many systems, the memory layout of program or the system of a whole is well defined. By sending in data designed to cause a buffer overflow, it is possible to write into areas known to hold executables code and replace it with malicious code or to selectively overwrite a data pertaining to the program state, therefore causing behavior that was not intended by the original programmer. Buffers are widespread in operating system OS code. So it is possible to make attacks that perform privilege escalation and gain unlimited access to the computer's resources. The famed Morris Worm in 1988 used this as one of its attack techniques. Programming languages commonly associated with buffer overflows include and C++ which provides no built-in protection against assessing or overwriting data in any part of memory and do not automatically check that data written to any array. The built-in buffer type is within the boundaries of that array. Bounds checking can prevent buffer overflows but requires additional code and processing time. Modern operating systems use a variety of techniques to combat malicious buffer overflows, notably by randomizing the layout of memory or deliberately leaving a space between buffers and looking or actions that write into those areas, canaries. Why is secure coding essential? Secure code protects your software. That's why it's important to incorporate secure coding practices throughout the planning and development of your product. Using secure code standards such as CERTC and CWE is key. This is especially important for embedded system developers. Developers looking to ensure secure code use static code analyzers, which enforce code rule and flag security violations. Learn how to incorporate security practices into your code and identify secure vulnerabilities earlier in development. Register for a free 7-day trial. Now we will talk about what is secure coding techniques. There are countless techniques that can be introduced to protect code and business data. The fundamental of secure coding must cover mobile devices, servers and embedded applications. Here are some of the top secure code techniques. The first one is enforce code obfuscation. We are possible protect your code with techniques such as code magnification and code obfuscation. The second one is avoid cutting corners. Don't be tempted to take shortcuts. Developers have tight deadlines, but it's essential to deliver production ready code even if this incurs delays. The third one is code reviews. There is still a place for peer code reviews on major projects, allowing developers to bounce ideas off each other. Additionally, it gives the opportunity for additional experts to critique the code. The fourth one is create a culture of security. Culture change is very difficult to achieve and it's something that takes time to embed it within the company. Taking the first step towards the entire team promoting a security first narrative is critical to success. The fifth one is document standards. Secure coding standards must be documented and shared on a private repo. Writing down the rules gives a developer the opportunity to review and help to drive culture change. 
The sixth one is validate external data sources. Sometimes it makes sense to use models and code that is already written. Validate that your sources are legitimate. Cross check downloads with SHA authentication and ensure any data pulled is encrypted and valid. The seventh one is use trait modeling. Trait modeling introduces a multi stage process that examines code for weakness and vulnerabilities throughout the software development process. Let's talk about why a secure code review is important. Secure code review is a critical process employed by the most successful development teams. It can reduce the number of delivery defects found at a later stage in the SDLC, decrease the amount of time developers spend fixing later stage defects, thereby increasing productivity, reduce the number of bugs and security vulnerabilities going into production, improve consistency across code bases and increase maintainability, improve collaboration, knowledge sharing and developer productivity and lessons learned can help inform future code development, improve ROI by helping makes processes faster and more secure and use less resources and time. So let's move forward and talk about what are the elements of secure code review and why should you use this standard. The key components involved in successful secure code review include the first one is combination of manual and automated review. The second one is collaboration, including sharing of knowledge and lessons learned. The third one is a study of matrix, which helps reduce defects and policy violations before merging the code. Why should you use secure code standards? Using secure code standards is a systematic and practical approach to weeding out any common software vulnerabilities from your code by following standards such as OWASP and SEI CERT, you can make your software more secure for users and avoid legal and financial complications that could result from any exploits, hack or breaches. So we have now come to the conclusion of this session. In case you have any questions regarding what we have discussed today, then please put them in the comment section of the video and we will be really happy answering them. Till we meet next, is best wishes from TNV Academy. Thank you.